How about you, Michael Savisco? What, how late are you here tonight? What are you playing it by ear? You don't make plans, right? It'll be for something. It'll all be. We're here for the same period. Word. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Savisco. Prodigal son return. Here he goes. There he goes. That's the man himself, the man, the legend, Buffalo's hottest vocalist of the 20th, 21st century. And the 20th century. That was the 90s, right? Yeah, there was. That was the 90s. I was a big fan. I used to go see him at the Dakota. And I actually arranged his meeting with, with Mike uh, Jones. Yeah, I mean somebody would have done it, but it happened to be me at Fanny's because that was my where, where I hung out. And actually, I got Mike the job at Fanny's because I was giving um, the owners stock tips, and this was back during the dot com bubble when you anybody with a dartboard could pick winners, right? So I made him over a million dollars. He paid off like a second home down in the Hiltons. And he loved me. So I'd come in every Friday, and it was like, Mary laughed because she came down to meet me there for dinner. And I'm, I'm in there, and it was like a mobster movie where I'm at a table by myself, and there's no one else in the place but Mike Jones playing the piano because I asked him to hire him to, to play for, for Friday nights. Um, El Tinney was on Saturdays. And uh, I forgot about that till now. Yeah, I actually got him that job. And then... Um, I told him, I can't remember how, what happened to get uh, Savisca down there. Like I said, he would have anyway. It was, it, was, it, was in the, it was in the stars, you know. But only the best. I played the one time, you know, in a tower. No kidding. Yeah. What an honor. Yeah, it was. That was the room, man. Al Tenney owned that room and they made, really made it something. We were so fortunate, we were able to second Yeah. Now, I sat in for Al once. This was before I could even play, right? Which was like any time up until five minutes from now. So, so I, we were there as usual, and um, actually, I mean, it's kind of sad because it was it was near the end, and he, he had his oxygen tank, and he just wasn't feeling. He needed a little more time during the break, you know. He was amazing that he could get up there and not miss a gig when he was going through his health health issues. So he says, "Why don't you go up there and do a few?" He's like, Okay, this is one for my bucket list, you know. I mean, this was like 1999 or 2000, you know. You know, like way before um, anything else, you know. And uh, so, you know, places for, now it wasn't, um, I don't think it was Sabu. I, I think it was um, Louis, Louis, I think Louis was on drums. I think Sabu might have been off that night, so I, I still haven't played with Sabu. I, mean, I can't remember who it was, but I was, I was, you know, I, I had to do it just because of the buckle list, even though I knew I'd blow it, because I was just horrible. You know, that was back when we used to... That's where I was smart. You learned a lot. I may not be playing my best in my Here, go, go play something else. I'm going to my contract. And make him sound good. Yeah. So I went up there, and... Um, I don't know, I did something like, you know, have you met Miss Jones or something, which I think was like the only thing I knew. And uh, the guys were, you know, keeping up with me. <laughs> with my, I was probably speeding, doing all my usual. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't sing back then. So I couldn't make it too entertaining. And uh, anyway, I did it and then I was done. And I, I was so excited that I, I was that I did that after watching them there like week after week and yeah, yeah, yeah. meeting Mary there and everything, you know, and Peggy and the whole bit. Electra, you know, I mean, it was just a whole, it was a lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, so I remember I get, I get done and I, I, I stand up to get off this and I'm holding my phone up because I wanted to like take a picture of the audience all looking at me. 
and I'm, they, they were not in on the joke. You know, they just, I was just getting dirty looks from everybody in the place, like, we want to hear Al, you know? And uh, it was funny. Yeah, I just got, kind of got stink eye. All these people are dressed beautifully in cocktails. The place was like, you know, look at you. right out of the, uh, you know, the, the dictionary on, you know, lounge, you know, chrome and, right, furs. But it, but it was a great memory. Really? Yeah. You were you were ready though. No, no, it took me a few years. It took me a few years. Language is a really hard. I had to really, really step up, step up, step up. And uh, still, if I lose my place or something, he'll tell me with a big wait, we're here. You know. <laughs> so, you always work with people like you. You said, hey. If I'm out of place and rush or get the changes or something, so he'll very subtly say, here's where we are, and we're going to put you back in. Well, well, he's such an amazing, you know, and, and sophisticated bass player. I mean, you could probably spend 20 years just learning him, you know, the things you could do with him just that you wouldn't, you wouldn't know about right away, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Education every time. Just the duo, oh, fantastic. Trio, now, where yeah. where is that going to be? The trio. No, we're the private luncheon. Private luncheon. So, so you guys can't go to see Bob Davis tomorrow with Sabu. Well, you can see our trio at, uh, at the uh, Black Music Month conference in June. Check out our the Black Music Ca Black Music Conference Awards in June. Um, you can see Bob Davis's trio, the Bob Davis trio. Is it your trio? It's your trio. All right, man, you took over the town. You're watching Lounge Academy Friday Night Live from the historic Statler in the heart of downtown Buffalo. My name's Howard. I will be your lounge academician for the next next couple hours. We've got some celebrities here already. We've got uh, Bob Davis. Who, you, you heard him off camera. There he is. A top, top jazz pianist in town. We are the entertainer to the stars here at the Statler. I'm, I'm very privileged. I think they like me because I'm not intimidating. <laughs> They don't feel threatened. You're Henny, uh, Henny, Henny Goldman. Right? Henny Irving Goldman. And Mary Kunz Goldman is here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the song you have to play her. Anytime Mary Kunz Goldman walks in the room. walking away because we don't keep anything from our audience there she goes that's how you make an exit so we do we do have two cameras so good. oh do you uh, want to check and see if we got audio they already did they already did how's it sound nice This mic does pick up everything. Oh, so yeah. you have to be really careful not to uh, talk about anything. Not to burp. Hi, Diana Woodruff. She says hi to Bob. Bob's a, Bob's a home favorite. Also, uh, among the uh, cavalcade of, of stars here tonight, we have uh, Michael Saviska. He came by and said hello. He's in the bar. He'll be back with us later. Maybe we can get him to sing a few bars. Here's what the place looks like. 
a little bit. I got a bunch of wires hooked up to the device. The device. We have devices. How come certain industries get to, to command like the like the, like the the, spe the whole species of their product line, right? Like you go to get your hair cut and would you like any product in your hair? Right? Like you don't go to Wegmans and they say, would you like to, some product for your shopping cart? Right? They don't get to use it. It's been taken, it's been usurped by the hair places. And, and then, where, where, where was I coming from with this? Devices. Devices. The, the uh, phone companies have commandeered, taken complete ownership of the term devices. So, you know, nothing else is a device now where they'll think you're talking about your, your phone. Good night, have a nice night. Mary's coming down the steps. Ooh, yeah. This is the way you enter a room with a big expensive glass of wine. Not just any room. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Some more stars are coming in. Let me get a load of this. Mari McNeil, known as McNeil, ladies and gentlemen. And after Dave Lundy, come over here where they could see you. I'm going to make a see you. Well, just to say, you know, so they believe me. They'll think I'm making it up. Got the old gang here. Look at this. Show business people are embracing. Show business people do that a lot. They like to embrace. I think they're chucking each other for weapons. It's a very competitive field. According to Vicky. Vicky in Denmark says Mary looks beautiful. Vicky in Denmark says Mary looks beautiful. There she is. We need more cameras, but see, there's, there's Ryan. Ryan always sits right behind me to be blocked. How's the balance on the uh, audio? I got a new mic set up tonight. How's the balance between me and the piano? Am I loud enough so you can hear my dumb jokes? Vicky just loves Ryan, right? They're in the back whispering. Look at that, they're huddled in the back whispering. The best part about Lounge Academy is the gossip.
How's the sound levels, Vicki, in Denmark? How's my voice versus the um, piano level? person I could get to give me an answer on the volume balances in Denmark. I got people six feet from me and I couldn't get the information out. That's because Vicky's a, Vicky's a professional. She's also the world's leading authority on this building right here, this Buffalo Stamper. She's the uh, top historian, top author on the subject. And she's in Denmark. That's how important this building is. I'm also a little nervous that we've been having all this talking about for two years. She knows every ghost in the building. Welcome to the Stabber. Every week we have improvements here in the equipment and 
broadcasting, the sophistication. Tonight, tonight we have uh, better microphones so you can hear more room. It's Suzette. the pandemic's officially over. See that, ladies and gentlemen? We're screaming. Say hi to everybody. Oh, they are, ladies and gentlemen. Actual people. Instead of using the microphone in the can in the thing, there's Connor Hawkins, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Connor. Uh, Charlie. Oh, sweet, Charlie. I mean, this this phone has a decent microphone in it, but this one's better. This is the one we use at the studio, and you can hear it has a further throw, so you can pick up some of the. Uh, Show business banter in the background. As well as the fish and air conditioning. But it's not going to stop there. I want to get you guys more views, more camera angles so you can see the action. So every week I'm going to be working on that, every day of every week, until we figure out a nice uh, mobile multi cam system arrangement. It's the Millers. Meet the Millers. They're here. It's Melinda and Mike. Melinda and Mike are here, ladies and gentlemen. Melinda and Mike are here. The Millers. Now it's, now it's a party. I feel like this, it's, this is your life. Nice to see you, Mike. Great. Everyone looks better than they did a year ago. Right? We're all rested. Mike's heading up to the lobby bar to bring a couple of drinks back for himself. And Melinda Miller, the famous Buffalo news writer. Here they are. Here they are, the two, the two news reporters catching up. Mary and Melinda.
even though he isn't one.
historic Statler, you drink out of crystal glass. Everything is top shelf here. Even the water. 30 bucks for a glass of water. That's only what they charge me. Everyone else, it's free. Until I pay back all the breakage. And over the past 10 years, there's been quite a bit of success. Suzette, 
That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there you go. There's your table. We reserved it. It's called the Suzette Table. Yeah, wow. 
See, it's an ending you do when you're banging with your applause, but this is really great. Everybody's so engrossed with each other that they didn't fall for it. That's a good sign, actually. Stay tuned, because we, from week to week, we're going to be getting you guys more camera angles, better camera angles, to really, for all the action, so that it, so you'll feel like you're here. Just like Jim Greenstein. Greenstein. Mr. Mr. Entertainer, what a fantastic entertainer, Mr. Greenstein, ladies and gentlemen. We are not worthy. He's also the hardest working man in show business. He put his mask back on because he felt like he was here. I, feel, I look like I'm at the dentist. You can look. Brother James, who is uh, managed by Jim Reinstein, and he'll come out and uh, with his guitar and his costumes and effects and lighting. He does an amazing one-man show. His unlimited energy. He'll take a break. He'll wash your car with his own franchised car wash, big smile car wash. Then he climbs back up on stage and just blows the roof off. And then if you're hungry, there's usually a food truck around. Popular place, you know. Sit down to North. I brought a lot of paperwork here. I've got my taxes here.
it was just this goes out by request a garden in the rain Dave Corbett's 
out there. Nice to see you, sir. Another old show business friend of mine back from our vaudeville days, Ron Stanley Benvenick. <laughs> Thank you, Ron, sir. in the movie 10. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan's going to get a drink. He's old-fashioned. He likes the old stuff. Ryan loves the old-fashioned thing. The sound of rain. I think I can give you guys camera production here, producing. for the time being. Oh, is he thinking of going back in? Well, you know, show business never leaves your blood. So I hear. Nice to see you, Bob Davis. He's heading off to another adventure in show business. Oh, yeah. He's just getting a drink. Thank goodness he's not leaving. I'm going to spin the camera around so that we can see him real. That's what the people want to see. It's Ryan bringing his drink over. That's his 12th drink. Here we go. Oh, it's Ryan. Well, now, oh, now they're over here. You just can't keep. You just can't keep up with these people. They keep moving around. Vicky, you could be the uh, camera driver. Yeah, 
yeah, that's kind of fun. It, that is fun. You sit here, it's the best seat now, so you got my seat. This is how I view the world. The entrance of the staff, there's people following, tug on their clothing on the way up the stairs, pull themselves together. It's all style. Glamour. We're actually getting the din of the happening place right now. I like it.
Okay, now you four take a picture of, of Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. 
this heart of mine. This heart of mine.
fun here at the Stabber. We got we still got a lot of time to go, a lot of songs. A lot of requests to get to. A lot of drinks to drink. A lot of masks to put on and off. And it's hot. 
lounge kick over here. We've got a beautiful lobby, lobby bar over, over there. I got a bunch of wires and junk up there. Yeah, but it takes a long time in the crop. We've got Michael Sabiska here. He's, looks like he's getting ready to leave for his next. How are you, Mr. Michael? You have a wonderful evening. It's almost quitting time for you. We are having a wonderful evening. How can you not be having a wonderful evening, Michael Sylvester? Call text. <laughs> See that? He gave me the show business. He gave me one of these. That means you're in. Please give me a call. Things will happen. I just have to talk to George about this today. We want to talk Yeah. 
There's a rainbow before me Skies above me A pandemic made And the difference is you Stanley Adams and Maria Reaver. I'm not familiar with, with those two, but I'm certainly evidently familiar with, with much of their work. Was she, um, wanted, I've heard that a lot of weddings got put off because of the pandemic. No, they, they just decided they just decided. But. They were thirsty. Hers come through the revolving doors on Delaware Avenue. They're always spinning. They're brass. They're beautiful. And inside, there's liquid inside of beautiful crystal glasses. What the hell is this kind of music? <laughs> With many other things. Among other things. Some, some more views.
It's hard to be down and out when you're in the staff. It's good acting. Oh, 
The rainbow's blending out. We'll have that happy ending now. We're taking a chance on love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On love. When 
I'm away. Such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on to me? If there's a chance that you care. Oh, 
because it's a Friday when we get in. We'll be here every Friday. Pretty much. We're going to have more cameras. So you can see more of the action. Because I can see it, but you can't.
Say hi to Kitty of a roof. Say hi to Kitty of a roof for me. Good night, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. We've had a great, we've had a great time here. Yeah, so I, I was thinking I talked solid through. It's been an awesome night. That's okay. How are you? I really enjoyed it. I've been to quite a bit too. Um, here's the microphone. And uh, place is clearing out now as the show ends. And uh, the beautiful Statler. We're here with Michael, Mike Miller and uh, Ryan Weisers, president of Lounge Academy of WBIG TV, the whole shebang. Um, running characters, Mary and Melinda. You see there's some masks, bank, bank robbers and train robbers leaving the Stadler and uh, just a great night. I hate, I hate to stop it, but you had to leave them, you know, screaming for more, or screaming for you to stop. Either, either way, as long as you're screaming, um, something like that. It was one of my lessons. I can't remember exactly, but it was, as long as they're screaming. It's a little, uh, if you like, I could, I could leave you. Leave you on over here. You, you could be a want to be a fly on the wall. Make you a fly on the wall at the fabulous Statler. You know, you got, the darn fern is always in the way of something. Whose idea was that fern? Yeah, 
Fern's blocking all the action. So we'll put you up. Flip this around so it will be covert. Yeah. Yeah. Commercial, Lounge Academy.
You know what else we got to do?
sports like that. And we'll just get together in our neighborhood, too. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Nobody's watching. Future watchers, rerun watchers. Thank you for tuning in. We're here every Friday night live from the Statler. We had a great night. We're gonna to try to get you more camera angles so you can really get in on the action and be part of it even more closely. From all of us at uh, the Buffalo Statler and WBIG TV, have a great, great evening and uh, We'll see you, see you soon. Special effects.